I am here with Sir Howard Davies. He is the uh, director of the London School of Economics. In fact, a very brave man to be sitting here in just a sports jacket. Howard, uh, we are waiting just moments away from Tim Geithner's testimony on the subject of AIG's disclosure. Uh, the secretary is under tremendous pressure. What's your view? Well, I can understand why Congress wants to investigate, but I think they ought to remember just how difficult things were in the autumn of 2008 and just how frantic decision-making was. And I think the New York Fed and the Treasury at the time felt that they had to make decisions quickly to save the world's financial system. And let's face it, they did that. So I think they ought to bear that in mind when they go into the minutiae of it. Not fair, let's say, to judge them by today's standards. I think you should recognize that decision-making, it was decision-making on the conditions of great uncertainty and in great nervousness. You have a deep regulatory background, Howard. You're former head of the FSA. You have played a key role in the creation of the Financial Stability Board. President Obama is trying to rewrite the rules for banking. Is he doing the right thing? Well, I wish this were being done in a, on a global basis, because I think one thing we learned in the financial crisis is that the world's markets are very strongly interconnected and that we need global rules in order to prevent regulatory arbitrage and race to the bottom and all of those bad things. And so I'm always, I think it's always unfortunate when people come up with solutions in one country, whether it's in the United States or as we have done in London in the UK. So I wish these things were debated in the G20 framework in the Financial Stability Board. Some of the ideas are very good ones that he's coming out with, but I think we need a global solution. So good ideas, but the fact that they're not being adopted across the Atlantic, perhaps across the Pacific as well, is the problem. But this is precisely what the G20 signed up to do. What happened? Well, that's the puzzle, because it did seem as though the world's leaders were coming together rather effectively, first in Washington, then in London, then in Pittsburgh. But just in the last few months, I guess in response to domestic political pressures, which are there in London just as they are in Washington, people have started to go off in different directions with their own homemade solutions, and I think that's unfortunate. Uh, Howard, you are a director of Morgan Stanley. From that position, are you concerned about what the president's policies might mean for that firm? We just don't know what they would mean. If we look at what Paul Volcker has said in the past, in a G30 report he produced a year ago, he produced some proposals you know, which uh, people have looked at and could be quite manageable. But we just don't know enough to be sure what these proposals mean. Very briefly, given the fact that you approve or at least applaud some of Volcker's efforts, should the UK, should Germany, should France follow suit? Well, what I think is good about uh, Paul Volcker's ideas is the notion that you should be able to punt depositors' money in uh, f fancy derivatives on securities markets. But I think there are many ways of delivering that outcome, including by ring fencing and different capital requirements, not necessarily by rigid separation. As we know, the devil is in the details. Howard, thank you very much for joining us. That's Howard Davies, Betty. He is the director of the London School of Economics, former head of the UK's FSA.